Some taxi. How you doing, cat? Okay. Um. How's your day going, cat? Poseidon power. Alright, on camera, root show. Picking up random shit. The scenery on here hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> I just remembered something hilarious about 10 years ago. I had an encounter with Rikia Shimabukuro, captain of a small Okinawa Yakuza family. One time we had to pretend to be a couple to sneak into a love hotel. Caught me off guard. At the time, I couldn't believe what was happening. But looking back now, it was pretty funny, yeah. Thank you for that, Rikia. Yeah, just keep doing, make sure if you're you need it to talk to your therapist, sister. You need to take care of yourself. Jesus Christ. That was a lot of food. Okay. There are so many Kiru memories that we're going to have to do. And I'm sorry you're having a tough day, sister. I know how it is. Believe me, I know how it is. Trying to date in 2024 makes me depressed. <laughs> Maybe not depressed, but it doesn't help me. It doesn't help my mood. Makes sense. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Uh, okay. The Yoshida Batting Center. I went to the batting cages with Sonhi and the others in Yokohama. But nowhere else can top this place. Hit. Now I feel like working up a sweat. Uh, Maybe I'll send some bad. balls flying for old time's sakes. Hit every curveball out of the park. I ain't hitting the curveballs out of the park. Maybe you are, Kiru, but... Where is this? Man... Oh, it's in the hallway? Weird. That was a good hit. What are you doing, Poodle? Baseball bat reminds me of, well, Majima-san. I wonder if the Tojo clan officers think so, too. Gordon Majima, a reckless man, but one who lives by his own rules. I can't tell how you how many times he's tried to kill me, but at the same time, I can't even count how many times I, he saved my life. Hit. He's one messed up guy. But despite all that, he's more suited to be a boss than I ever will be. That's nostalgic. If both Majima-san and Kasuka could lend me a hand, I'd feel like I could take on the world. God, there's so many of these, man. Okay. Gotta run away. Gotta do these things. Gotta do Kiru is a this is your life. What the fuck is this other memory? Where's this other memory? So Kel. What did what did Uber do? Got to get on the fucking roof? What is going on? How do I get on top of the building? Oh.
That was stupid. Still a satis satisfying sound. Whenever I think of baseball, Shinada comes to mind. Tatsuo Shinada, a man who once made his debut in the big leagues. He fell victim to a fate so cruel it'd be wrong to write it off as bad luck. Oh, I'm sorry, Cal. So, how you doing? But despite everything, he's never lost his passion for baseball. I don't think I'm capable of dedicating my entire life to one thing like he has. I respect him for that and envy him a little too. Though, it's never too late to start trying, is it? I remember this. Can't, maybe I still have time to find my true passion, like what baseball is to Shinada. Kiru has so many memories. You think I'm catching D's nuts? Catching D's nuts? Okay. Man, it's hard to tell where some of these fucking things are. The Millennium Tower. D's nuts is how you're doing, Soul? <laughs> Might be a symbol of this town nowadays, but it actually used to be a filthy shopping district. Well, I love you anyway, Soul. But then a large-scale development project started, and then and the Yakuza blood, uh, the Yakuza spilled blood, fighting over this empty pot of land. I was right in the middle of all the action. If everyone involved in this conflict could see this view today, I wonder what they'd have ah, to say. <laughs> Maybe something back. along the lines of, "You can make good money with this." I think so. Like, or Yakuza 1. Or Yakuza 1, you ended up... I don't remember. Man, I know at Yakuza 1, there was the whole thing. Like, most of the early Yakuza games ended up with on the top of the fucking roof. Of the roof of that building. They are like, uh, we're going to take you back to Kamarucho because obviously Kiru needs to remember everything that happened to him ever. You're working on D's nuts. You're working on D's nuts. D's nuts. Hey, pocket circuit racing. Oh God. <laughs> Neat. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'll race you to the pocket circuit. Stadium. Not pocket circuit racing. No. They are, Kel. There are really? grenades everywhere. Pocket circuit stadium. Kamurocho actually has one again. I was watching a late night TV commercial over the weekend, and then it said, forget everything you know about deep carpet cleaning. So I did. And then the commercial said, try our new deep carpet cleaning vacuum. And I was like, deep carpet what now? Pocket <laughs> circuit. Nice leave. Those little radio controlled race cars. It's a surprisingly deep hobby. Competing against others on elaborate racetracks. There was a time I was the fastest pocket circuit racer in Kamurocho, taking on all comers. No, you not in my I games. You were kids who frequented the place through racing and modding our cars together, and <laughs> I even formed a lasting friendship with a pocket circuit fighter that managed our location. Last time I saw him was back in Onomichi. Hope he's doing all right. Stop being so annoying. Let me play how I want, fighter. Hmm? But that customization you put together won't work, Kojiro-kun. Try these tires instead. They'll give you more friction on turns. Come on. Use them just once, buddy. For me? Knock it off. The tires I have are the best. They're purple. Purple's cool, but the color doesn't make it race better. Don't you want to stay on the track? No, shut up already! Fighter, <laughs> you suck! Let's go find something to do at the park. Yeah, this is dumb, Yasukun. Mm. Aw, just give it a little more time. It's fun! <laughs> Not again. Jeez, I can't get these kids to listen.
Oh well, better clean up. Whoa! Ooh, sorry about that. Huh, a golem tiger. Oh? You, uh, you recognize it? Hmm, I, I used to leave. race here, actually. Back with the first pocket circuit fighter. Whoa. So, my name's Muranaka. I'm a new fighter, employed by the pocket circuit company themselves. Why are you bumping I'm... my tattoo, you slut? Well, as far as pocket Your circuit nose. goes, I'm Kazuma. Kazuma-kun, huh? Pleasure to meet you. So if you knew this branch's first fighter, you must go back a while. I started in the bubble era. Must have been 30 years ago now. Whoa, that would have been the first boom period. Oh, amazing. I'd have loved to have been there to see it. Is it true how popular it was back then? I'd say so. From what I recall, it really swept the country for a time. Then one day, the Kamurocha Stadium was gone. I'm surprised to see it come back now. Ah, oh, yeah, it, it did die down for a while, but recently there's been a surge of interest. The market's swelling again. On top of that, we have a new company president. He's a pocket circuit fanatic, apparently. And I'm super into it. He came up with a bunch of innovative new mixed media strategies to get younger school kids back into RC racing. Hmm, that sounds effective. What the hell is mixed media? So, what made you want to be a pocket circuit fighter? Everything else aside? The cars. Pocket circuit cars fascinate me. Pocket Circuit's popularity was waning by the time I got into it, but I didn't care. I'd spend every afternoon customizing my rig. All of my meager allowance went toward building the best machine I could. I didn't have friends at school, but eventually, I met people through Pocket Circuit. It was like, <laughs> fuck. Damn it, Leaf. <laughs> finding my place in the world. So you know if you uh, rearrange the letters of Mailman, they get rather upset. It was so much fun in those days. I get it. That made you want to become a fighter. Yup. It was the fighter at my local branch who approached me when he saw that I would race alone. He helped bring me together with the other kids. I finally made friends. All thanks to him. That's the person I want to be. Someone who can help cheer kids up when they're going through hard times. That's a true pocket circuit fighter. I think that's the right idea. You're a good fit. Except, this job's a lot harder than I thought it'd be. When it comes to pocket circuit tech, nobody knows more than me. I just want to pass on that knowledge, teach kids the best customizations, support their curiosity. But when I try, oh, I can't get through to them. The kids all seem to hate me. Maybe I'm just not cut out to be a fighter. Now that I'm 30, it might be time to move back home. <laughs> yes, you're 30, so move back in with your parents. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no. It's just that back in my day, the fighter here was in a very similar position. He and I raced together a lot. I have nothing but good memories of him. It's been a long time, but I still consider him a close friend. You really have that kind of bond? Hmm. He was a great spokesperson for the hobby and good with kids. Still, he had his share of troubles. The company never saw him as more than a disposable part-timer. When he had 30, he had a hard time staying with it. Wow. What did he do? He decided to remain a fighter. He loved pocket circuit. The kids loved him. In the end, he couldn't turn away from that love. I flipped her ears backwards. <laughs> She's like, Daddy, why do you do this to me? Daddy, why do you do this to me? Daddy, why do you do this to me? Such a pig. Such a pig. 
Such a pig. Uh. The kids loved him, huh? <laughs> Makes me jealous. If I only had a better relationship with them, I wouldn't be so conflicted. Let me ask, what do you imagine the kids there want from you? Me? Well, I'm the pocket circuit fighter. They want me to teach them the best way to race, don't they? That's an important part of it. The fighter should be someone you can consult on builds. However, do you really think that's what children are looking for? Huh? You told me about the fighter who helped you as a kid, but you didn't mention his technical expertise. Did you decide to become a fighter because he made you a faster car? Did you idolize him because he taught you which tire set takes sharp turns better? Of course not. He meant the world to me because... When I had nobody, he rescued me from my loneliness. I think you understand now. What is it the children want from their fighter? You know the answer, don't you? They want a friend. Kazuma-kun. You're right. This whole time, I've been mistaken. Pocket Circuit might be a technical hobby, but that's not its heart. It can't be only about winning and losing. First and foremost, it's about having fun with your fellow racers. I can't believe I looked past something so obvious. Ugh, no wonder the kids hate me. It's not too late, you know. Right. I'm gonna find those kids. This time, I won't talk about wheels. I'll talk about feels. <laughs> Pocket Circuit runs on love. Uh, Good. I will talk about wheels. I'm sure they'll take to that. I'll lesson. talk about feels. Oh, thanks so much, Kazuma-kun. Fighter away! Man. Those kids are probably in Public Park 3. Maybe I'll go check that on them. Feel these nuts. Children's Park. Nothing unusual about this park except for the manhole in the back. Underneath is an intricate sewer system. Some might say it's just another facet of the city. At one point, Akiyama went into hiding this there. Brings back to be memories. honest, it seemed kind of fun. Heh, maybe I should experience it myself once before I move on to the next life. Feel these nuts. Okay, what's in that? What's in the ship box? Yeah, I want to eat a half-eaten bento out of the uh, garbage can in a public restroom. Sounds like a good idea to me. This really cleaned up this area. There used to be a lot of homeless camping here and there, but now they're nowhere to be seen. I heard that's the reason Kamarucha has been thriving recently. So personally, I don't mind the old Kamarucha that didn't bother keeping up appearances and hiding its uglier sides. Man, I don't. I bet you, if I'm t sitting there doing all these for the stream, it's going to take a good half the stream. <laughs> There's so many. There's so many. I know most of them are short, but. I remember this place. A few decades ago, I knew someone who occupied this building, the penthouse, in fact. Kamarucha's king of real estate, Tetsu T Tachibana, president of Tachibana Real Estate. To demonstrate his power, he caused a power outage in the city for a few seconds. Seeing Kamarucha in complete and total darkness at that time still leaves a strong impression in my memory. Tachibana held so much power, but he only desired one thing, and in the end, his wish was never this fulfilled. Back memories. Tachibana, what do you make of your life? Would you say it was a good one? Feel these nuts. How many hours did you end up spending on this cat, did you say? I think you told me, but I forgot. Wee. Yeah, I'm I'm already at seven. I was at 75 starting the stream, so I'm gonna end up being close to 80 by the time the stream is over.
The Millennium Tower. This is where the... And this is where I settled the score with Akira Nishi, uh, Nishiki, Nishikiyama. Even though we weren't related by blood, Nishiki was the closest thing I had to a brother. I thought we could pop, uh, just keep screwing around as small time EQs under the boss, but I don't know where it all went wrong or if this was the way things had to be. No matter how much thought I put into it, I just can't figure ah, it out. That takes That's why back. I need to keep up my head up until it's time for us to meet again and I can face him with pride. I'll keep on living or at least try to. Yeah. After I finish this, I'm probably, like I said, I'm Psychonauts 2 is next, and I don't know what else after that. Phantom. I'd love to have a drink, but I don't want to make anyone fuss over me. A long time ago, this place would be called Bacchus. It served some great drinks. It was also the place where I met met Haruka for the first time. She was alone in a bar littered with corpses clutching a gun. I was shocked to see her there. She was so brave. Back then, she was just a child who only wanted to find her mother. To think that Haruka is now a mother herself and, and that she give her life to protect her own this child. Back yeah. The longer you live, the more surprises you get to see. Man, the Kiru, this is your life. Um, what are we doing next? Let's just do this one. Good to go. I probably need to go check on wep weapons at some point, but let's do this. I'm on a roll. Let's go. I won't. Now, poodle. How's Final Fantasy VII Rebirth going? I'm trying to get all my jobs to level 30. Man, it's going to be like the first time in a long time where I haven't had like a Yakuza game to play or one coming up in the near future. Maybe a sad panda. Yeah. I'm gonna be a sad panda. My days of being a Yakuza streamer are coming to an end. all these things that they're like ah go do this and this and this and then but like oh but you have a story fuck that story I have to go dude this is your life with Kiru this is your life with Kiru dun 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 now that uh, Horizon Forbidden West is on PC I might play that game but I don't know when dude I played that original one so long ago I really liked it though. No begging for mercy now. Namba so strong he swings his surfboard through a telephone pole or a light pole. I hope everyone's having a good day, though. I appreciate you all. Thank you for hanging out. It means the world. 
Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. This is your day to have a lot of fun. Good, Arcane. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Good to see you, friend. Good to see ya. Okay. Back then, as the name implies, Little Asia was a community of residents who came from all over Asia. There were no small number of illegal immigrants either, so the place was considered a gray area. But there was a man who supported these those same residents every day in secret, despite his position in the police force. Mei Masayoshi Tanimura, a man I once fought alongside in the past. But after that, we all lost contact. I wonder where he's been. But a former Yakuza meeting up with a police officer, that just spelled trouble for him. It'd be better off if I kept my distance. I'd hate to end up end things here, though. If only I had a good reason to reach out this to him. Back I guess I you could consider this one of my regrets, too. You beautiful boy, you. You beautiful boy, you arcane. Happy birthday to you. The champion district. This site will never get old. It's like another town within Kamarucho. It's full of places to drink, each with their own unique character, actually. Despite how often I came here, there are a number of bars I've never even been inside. Ah, Ham, might be back. fun to do a pub crawl here someday. Dude, the last time I got did a pub crawl, that shit just like... So much drinking. So much drinking. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna die. You're going to regret Try this. I mean, basically, cat. It's walking from bar to bar getting more fucked up as you go along. <laughs> Dude, I still haven't got anything from the fucking, uh, the, uh, loan people from uh, who I got my car from, and I'm just like, Shangala. I believe Kasuga was raised by the manager here. Originally, it was a luxurious soap land exclusively for those with a membership, one of them being Shinji. At that time, I thought he had a problem with how he was so addicted to sex, but maybe being so passionate about something is a good thing. While I was away in prison, he did a lot of growing up. I'm sure he must have faced many hardships. If he was still alive today, ah, well, I would have back. liked to see the kind of man he'd become. But there's no point thinking like that now. Little Asia, huh? A while back, it served as the headquarters of the Sayo Triad, the Chinese Mafia. And the one who was connected to them was Yuda. Yuda Usami, Haruka's husband. I still can't believe it, even after all these years. He's a good guy, a bit timid at times, but he's got the nerve to see through what he needs to be done. Plus, he's a looker. Heh, I'll give him that. Someone like him, I know will make Haruka and Haruto happy. I'm sure of it. And on the... The off chance he makes them both cry, a ghost is going to have to pay him a this visit. This brings back memories. I'm entrusting you with their happiness, Yuda. We'll kill you. Tag team back again. Dude, my arm is at the. It's itchy already after getting tattooed on Friday, and I'm just like, eh. Oh, 
Arcane's the best. He's the best troll around. I don't think I can do this. Ugh, this is the worst. This will be tough. Here. Thanks. Oh, good. Follow my lead. Use it. You don't need any more treats, poodle. Yeah. I've given her like five treats since I started my stream like 40 minutes ago. More treats! More treats! Follow my lead. It sounds like, speaking of sour Kool-Aid, that there will be another Montana Boys stream this month for Zeke's celebration, so... Do love me a good uh, a Montana Boys stream. Is it this wagon fucks shirt, Soul? This wagon fucks. <laughs> Is that what his shirt says? It's like this wagon fucks. <laughs> I was going to buy one, then I forgot, and I never got one. I don't think they're available anymore. Uh Hello? Dante here, Kiryu. If you have time, come to Harbor Light, will you? You realize sure. I'm in Kamen Understood. I'm in Kamerucha, man. It's uh, when Zeke and uh, Zeke and uh, DP play uh, Far Cry together. I'm in good shape. Oh, is it? I'm going to have to buy one then. Keys. You know what's funny, though? I have, like... I have a shirt that says fuck racism and I love, but I never wear it out in public because I feel weird. <laughs> in the past, the food here tasted so disgusting. I thought it was strange they didn't go out of business. To think it was actually a front for an underground casino. That was really something. And now it's a decent ramen shop. I guess when people commit and put out their minds to it, they really, uh, really can't change. Or maybe I'm just talking uh, up the shop, making them look good. I'll leave out the little details and try to drop in for a bite every once in a while. Feels it's like not often yesterday. I get to eat good ramen at a reasonable price. Better not take it for granted. Wow. I get an achievement for that? The This Is Your Life Kiru segments are going on longer than I thought they were. Get out of my way, motherfuckers! Montana, there's not. You're not missing much. Try, trying to find Montana, soul. Don't worry. I think this place was a district office of some kind. Even though I spent the majority of my life in this town, it's just surprising I don't remember this building at all. I kind of want to peek inside, but maybe it's best to leave it as a mystery. After all, the people who work here either have nothing to do with me or don't know I exist. They've got their own lives to live. Strange to think that, but it's just got. It goes to show that the world is a wondrous place, bigger than we could ever I imagine. This. Hint, if the opportunity presents itself, I look forward to the day I get to see what's inside. Montana, 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 Montana. I've never even been to Montana, and I'm close to it. I like. I could drive to Montana now. I don't know what I would do in Montana, but I could drive to Montana. I just, I want to go find the homeland of a Zeke. A natural Zeke. Ace Ruffians. I'm on a roll. All right. Let's finish it. Together. We only need one shot. Natural. 
Okay. You could do these nuts in Montana? I could. It's true. These nuts. That's what Dal uh, specializes in. These nuts. Like the elite boss guy. I won't take that. Yeah. Die, dude. Jesus Christ. We're like 12 levels at least, or I guess 10 to 12 levels higher than him. And he still just sits there. The least just takes so much damage. Hmm. I don't want to stick around here for too long because this is the same place where Haruka got in an accident. I understand what people mean now when they say your mind goes blank. I never want to recall that incident. But I can't forget the anguish I felt hearing how she shielded Haruto from the impact. She's always been a strong kid. Now she's stronger than she ever was. Than I ever was. Right. So that's what it means to be a parent. <laughs> tanking? Okay. She was tanking for her small child. I didn't even see this one over here. That's the studio master Udo Bari, a legend among tattoo artists. I had my back inked here too. The first time I saw my finished back tattoo, I was shake so shaken up in a world of pain. I thought I wouldn't be able to move. I hope master Udo Bari is doing well. I wonder what he'd say if he saw me now. Would he think I'm living up to his, this tattoo? Honestly, I'm both tempted and terrified to find out. I don't know what I'm talking about, Soul. Let's be honest. Lots of mumbling and getting ADHD. Bring the pain. Bring the pain. Lay Marsh, huh? Can't believe this place is still kicking. Normally, a guy like me wouldn't vis visit such an ordinary high-class boutique, but I've made a great memory here before. I once bought Yumi a birthday present here. I never did that kind of thing before, so I was really nervous about it. And to top it all off, it got stolen right after I bought it, so I had to track down that thief to get it back. I went through hell because of that ring, but it was all worth it because I was able to give her something she'd always wanted. Feels I hope like Yumi was yesterday. happy with it. Look at all these, man. There's no one even in the store. For, oh, there is. Okay. Damn.
Has everybody got new weapons? I guess so. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Okay. So many memories. Ah, uh, give me a sec. I'm gonna go get lotion because my fucking tattoo is itching like a bitch right now. I'll be right back. I have returned. Okay. I am close to having the seven different jobs as rank 30, so. I believe the Arakawa family office is around here. Ichiban Kasuga, the man who was instrumental to the dissolution of both the Tojo clan and Omi lines. And now I believe you to be the man I can trust to do what needs to be done. This might be the first time I've ever entrusted someone with such a big task. This. Yeah, he really is one hell of a guy. Yeah, they're basically, Kiru, this is your life. No, Zelda. No, Zelda, no, Zelda, no, Zelda. No, Zelda, no, Zelda, no, Zelda! This is a spawn shop. A Busu Pawn. From family heirlooms sized as part of a debt collection to a ring being sold the same day it was given to a hostess. The pawn shop is a place where all kinds of things gather, each with their own history. But for some reason, this place always stuck me as a weapon and armory shop. They've got Japanese swords and even shamo armor. As strange as the selection is, I have to say I like the variety. I really appreciate the shop for helping me get this far. Will you stop it, Poodle? I'll sell you stuff. Mm. Okay, we have... I was looking for plates. We even got the like really expensive ones. Got, we don't need safe keys. Okay. I got you. Oh, who, ne who needs a gift? <laughs> who needs a gift? <laughs> Thank you. There you go. You get that. Okay, next. Like I said, so many fucking memories for Kiryu. And we gotta go back to fucking the other city here. Now, why would they build this police station this large here? It's giving off and I've got my eye on you vibe. The cops and I get along like dogs and cats. But the detectives of the counter were all guys who die for what they believe in. And I've been influenced by their way of life time after time. Dada son especially. I owe the man I, I don't know. If it weren't for him, I don't know if I'd still be alive to this day. <laughs> Strange, isn't uh, it? Who thinks who'd think of a former Yakuza and detective would wind up being friends? And one of the only ones I've got at that. Yeah, it's just all the Kiru memories. Kiru memory this, Kiru memory that. Show me what you're working with! Look, 
Let's get food first and then we can reminisce. Oh, right. When you eat strawberry shortcake, at what point do you go for the strawberry on top? I save it for last. The strawberry is like the star of the shortcake. I like to have it around for as long as possible. <laughs> You've got a whole philosophy on it. You know, he's actually going about it the right way. How do you mean? Apparently, eating the strawberry last is proper etiquette. I read in a magazine that you're supposed to leave the strawberry in place and eat the cake around it to preserve the aesthetic. That way, your last bite has everything combined. People really go through all that trouble just to eat cake? I mean, I get the logic, but... I want to eat the strawberry when I damn well please. <laughs> Plus, doing all that would make the cake unstable anyway. Not to mention harder to eat. I prefer to eat the strawberry first. Is there any etiquette for that? Hey, don't ask me. Not like I made any of these rules. I think we might be taking this a bit too far. If all we do is worry about etiquette and don't enjoy the flavor, doesn't that defeat the purpose? <laughs> I'd like to imagine the baker would want us to eat it how we see fit. Excellent point, Kiryu-san. And you know, there's something I've always wanted to try. Well, it feels like now might be my moment. To take a huge bite straight out of a whole cake. <laughs> Not today, Not today you won't. <laughs> I love you, Namba. Thanks for buying. That is food. food. Thank you. He did. Cafe Alps, this place has been around for a while. It was e it was even well established before the bubble era. I've spent hours nursing a cup of coffee here before. Gotta say, I'm pretty fond of this place. If memory serves, all sorts of dangerous things went down here. I even remember completing my first ever job training session at this cafe. I once worked somewhere called Tachibana Real Estate in the past, and my instructor was a man named Oda. He drilled be business etiquette 101 into my head here. He was an asshole, though. Never liked him much at all. Heh, but thanks to him, I remember the proper way to exchange business cards to this, this day. Back kind of a useless eyes. skill, though, when I have no reason to. Kind of an asshole. Kind of an asshole. The fucking get oh, I have to go out over here. God damn it. This is that the kid, the uh, racer guy story, right? So let's go do that. Namba's like out here trying to eat a whole cake. And people are like, no, Namba. No, Namba. Yo, sick cart, short stuff. Is this limited edition? Yeah, I want one too. Hey, give it back, please. Huh? Don't be such a greedy brat. Well, you want to get hit? A premium model's wasted on some dumbass kids. I'll make this thing fly. But I spent my whole allowance on it. I don't care. Go away before I kill you. Go away before I kill you. Don't move a muscle, you scum. Huh? Is that the nerd I think it is? Nerd? No! Try Pocket Circuit Fighter. And that's Kojiro-kun's car. Hand it over. <laughs> Shit! Pocket jerk off fighters actually lecturing me. Why don't you crawl back into whatever boomer ass manga they cribbed your outfit from? <laughs> you know, we'd put a car like that to better use than some moron toddlers. Don't you want faster races at your rinky dink stadium? Are you nuts? As if I'd let anyone who mistreats kids race on my tracks. Pocket circuit may be competitive, but it's not the fastest who wins the day, it's whoever has the most fun. You two blockheads don't deserve pocket circuit. Fighter. It's not safe here. Move along, please. But fighter. Don't worry about me. Now go. Okay. Now, just you and me. Right. Listen up. You're dealing with the pocket circuit fighter now. <laughs> <laughs> 
a cheap shot. So that's how it is. <laughs> hey, this nerd's literally as weak as he looks. <laughs> Look at you in that oversized chip bag. <laughs> this fighter can suck my ass. For real. What kind of virgin devotes his whole life to toy cars? <laughs> Have your folks seen your dumb cosplay? <laughs> Go wow. home! If your family ain't disowned you yet, maybe they can find you a real job, fighter! Kojiro Kun's car handed over. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, my race isn't right. <laughs> He's actually out cold. Let's teabag him. Hey. Huh? Ah! The, the hell? Who are you? Nobody besides a pocket circuit fan. You've both made a big mistake just now. Now be quiet and give me the card. What's up with him? You got some death wish, old man? Did we find out? Hell yeah, we should! Let's fuck this guy up! Stores, I think I'll enjoy this. I'm on a roll. Try to block this. Good night. No one can see this. Nothing personal. You have to be perfect. You just got killed by a cake. You got a million for that? Nice. That should do it. Hmm? That should do it. Fighter, please say something. Uh, is that you, Kojiro Kun? Yes, it's me. Are you okay? Fighter! Yeah. I'll be all right. Are any of you hurt? Uh-uh. All because you protected us. Thanks so much. Fighter, you're so strong. We never knew. Huh? What? Me? Well, look. Those bullies are all knocked out. Oh. Was that... me? There's nobody else around. You're the coolest fighter. Um, I'm really happy you got my car back. Don't worry about it. It's a fighter's job to keep the racer safe. Fighter, you... you did all of this for us. After I said such mean stuff to you. I swear, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I promise, Kojiro-kun. I'm the one who's sorry. You only wanted to have fun customizing your kit. I tried to force my way of doing things onto you, but you never asked me to. I assumed you'd be happier if you won more often, but you were smart enough to know what matters to you. I was a crummy fighter. I was I a crummy the most fighter. the important thing about Pocket Circuit. Please, forgive me. Fighter! <laughs> hey, I know how to make it all okay. Let's race together. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Take let's go, to the let's stadium, go. Fighter. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, I might need to buy a couple bandages first. Can you two go on ahead? Sure, <laughs> we'll wait for you there. Well done, Fighter. You've really earned that title. Murinaka-kun. Hmm? Uh, President. Hey. It's him. Huh. No way. Of course. Fighter said the new president was a fanatic. I got a call on my pocket phone that a fighter was in a scuffle and rushed over. Are you all right? Oh, yeah. I'm just fine, sir. And no harm came to the children. I see. Well, thank goodness. You did the right thing protecting them, Murinaka-kun. <laughs> Any fighter worth their stripes would do the same. Who are Nakakun? Something's different about you. Have you found some new motivation? Do you think so? Kazuma-kun's to thank then, probably. Kazuma-kun? Yes, sir. 
He's a truly noble man and a racer since the bubble era. I was beginning to doubt my value as a fighter. To be honest, Kazuma-kun heard me out and gave me advice fit for a sage. He opened my eyes, sir. How about that? Kazuma-kun. You say he helped you through a personal crisis? Yes, absolutely. May I ask? Uh, it sounds like you this might is me right know now. him, sir? She's got her hand on my arm. Mm. He happens to be an, uh, an important old friend. He carries that oh, picture around. That's cool. Kazuma Kun mentioned knowing the first fighter. He called you a friend too. He did, did he? If it's all right, sir, I should get back to the stadium. The kids are waiting for me. Hmm. And take care of yourself. Oh, Muranaka Kun. If you happen to see Kazuma Kun again, give him a message. I would love another race someday, friend. You got it, sir. I won't forget. You got it, sir. See you again, Mr. President. You don't need any more treats, Poodle. No. You called me your friend, huh? Pocket circuit <laughs> sure is special, Cosmo Coon. If we, uh, if I ever God see dear. you again, let's laugh together. Let's cry. Let's shout. Just like the kids do. Like we Dude. used to back then. They are Let's race, tugging all the heartstrings going. Yeah, we're killing him. Have fun, guys. <laughs> no. Man. Kiru. We got that. We got this up here. So let's go see what kind of food and shit we need. Hello, sir. 